Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. And I'm Robbie. And on this episode, the original Belgian White. We're going to drink some hoes. Ho Garden. All right, if you're into that Belgian style white beer, this is the reason. Um, Woohoo! And I'll pick that one up in a little bit. Uh, it's got a cold cap. So here's the thing with this one. Don't know if you've ever had this. We both had this. Definitely. But here's the thing you're supposed to pour part of the beer then swirl it to get the stuff the sediment poured on top which i didn't know until i looked at the back right um so let's zoom in let's see what we can do as you'll notice oh how pretty and this is a highly like carbonated beer it, and i also it tell you it's going to be cloudy yes it so pours don't be alarmed. it pours a monster head and it even says on here naturally cloudy um, so now we'll swirl that in there. The old swirl -a Oh, yeah. Okay. Because, like I said, this thing pours a beast of a head. We need shirts that say, don't be afraid of the sediment. Don't. That's not. You know what? If I, that, I, maybe I need to start making some merchandise. I don't know. Look at that. Oh, Ooh. yeah. If that doesn't make your mouth water, I don't know what does. I mean. I mean. I'm loving it. Literally, I'm, I love them. And, I mean, when you're pouring that light beer at a ballpark, yeah, I don't want much head because I'm already paying $14 for freaking grocery store <laughs> beer. But when I'm having a good beer that might have, I want some, I want that foam so I can, you know, you get a lot of the taste coming from drinking it through that foam, the aeration. The froth. Yes. You get just... Every last drop for all the monks. <laughs> Bring that sucker out. Okay, um, you know, it says almost 600 years ago in a Belgian village of Hogarden, a band of monks experimented by adding oddball botanicals from halfway around the world to their traditional wheat beers. Our recipe, inspired by their creativity, is an unfiltered beer with a refreshing flavor and captivating aroma unlike any other in the world. You might call it an inspired creation we call it ho garden um so for the record he hates coriander and that's in there and uh, orange peel but he likes orange peel yeah but not coriander no i, I do i hate coriander. but it's very subtle coriander right. now it's 4.9 percent alcohol so you can have quite a few of them um let's see what we got here Okay, the smell's not like anything else. I mean, Belgian I wheat is the Belgian wheat. I just couldn't. I resist. Understand. You know, you, you got a, you got a, a head that'll float a freaking beer cap. Oh, man. No discernible hot note. Very, very low IBU. Mm. But see, I don't get that much like banana in this one that's on like some of the other wheat beers. Well, that's that, the Belgian yeast is right. that banana. But I um, get a nice layer of orange peel. I get that tiny little bit of the little bubble gummy. Yeah. Uh, I do get the the orange peel. Uh, I don't really get much coriander. Yeah. Um, and that's why I do like it. But if you leave the sediment in the bottom and then get right to the bottom, it's literally going to take like you bit right into the orange rind. Yeah. It is just horrible. That, I mean... I know some people will pour it without the sediment. I suggest if you get a six pack, you know, try it. Yeah. Try it without the sediment, with the sediment. Um, Half shaken. Yeah. Overall. See, it just makes you, see, it just you just keep picking up and drinking. This is a drinking beer. Uh, it's very refreshing. It just tastes good. I don't see it many places, though. I was really surprised that we got it in at the liquor store. Uh you know, I've worked at a couple bars that we kept it, but it's not super common. Well, yeah. at least not in our area. Yeah. Uh, but I, I like it. I think it's a phenomenal beer. I've liked it since the first time I tried it. Um, it it's, it's just a good beer. You know, it, like you said, it's not hoppy. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of malt. Mm -hmm. There's a malt backbone, but it's... It's not like real crisp. It's just so smooth and mellow and... Let's see, I like it better than Blue Moon. Oh, God, yes. 
like the more the flavor profile there. I would love to have this on tap. It'd be, I think it'd be great. I worked at one place that had it on tap. Uh, yeah, come yeah. to think of it, yeah, it sold like crazy. Yeah, Hot I think I had it on tap. There you go. But we had like forty something taps at that place. Uh, just keep this tap open for me, please. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> All right, well, I think we've uh, discussed this one about as good as we're going to. Um, so I think we get down to our rating system. The all-important, did you dig it? Dig it. Yes. Will you have another? Whole case, please. Yes. Uh, how many in pick six? Whole case. It's 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 whole definitely six-pack worthy. It's just the whole thing. Um, Bring me all and, my lawnmower beer. Please. Right. Now, it even has seek ability for me. Yeah. Like, I, I look for it because it's not exactly easy to find in, in my area. Um, but on our 1 to 10 pints, 1's the lowest, ten's the highest. I give it an 8. It, absolutely. It's an 8 all day. And on a really hot summer day, it's a 9. Oh, yeah. It definitely quenches the thirst. Well... Let's talk about it in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do ring the bell. Put out a lot of content. We hope it's good for you. Hit that like button. Yes. Until the next beer adventure. Cheers.